Hi children. Today we learn about division which means equal sharing. Sharing candies and chocolates with our family and friends is always good. How will you feel if your brother, sister or friends share candies with you? Of course, you'll feel happy. Now let's solve a division problem. There are 12 candies and 4 children want to share them equally. Can you tell how many candies will each child get? First, each child takes a candy. Then each child takes another candy. How many candies will each child get? Yes, each child gets two candies. How many candies are left here? You are right. Four candies are left here. Now there are four candies and four children. So again, each child can take one candy. Now, each child has three candies. Now, no more candies are left in the bowl to share. So, we can say that each child will get the same number of candies, that is, three candies. This method of sharing is called division because here we divide equally. Like addition, subtraction and multiplication have a symbol, division also has a symbol. So 12 candies shared equally by 4 friends can also be written as 12 divided by 4 which is equal to 3. We can also write it as 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. This is a division statement. Similarly, division is also used when we need to do equal grouping. Let us solve a division problem which requires regrouping. There are 15 beads. Anju makes equal groups with 3 beads in each group. How many groups of beads does she make? Anju takes 3 beads and puts them together. She did it until all the beads are not grouped. So, Anju made 5 groups with 3 beads in each group. We can say 15 beads divided by 3, we write it as 15 divided by 3 which is equal to 5. We will learn more about division in our other videos. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.